Hey everyone, it's Flynn Patrick once again, and in this video, we will be releasing the number 34 player in the NBA for 2017-2018. I am super duper excited to continue moving up this list. We are getting closer and closer to number one, and we're going to be there soon enough, but right now we are on the number 34 player, and for this player, we are staying in the Motor City. Let's get right to it. The number 34 player in the NBA for 2017-2018 is going to be Blake Griffin of the Detroit Pistons. So let's start with the good. He wasn't an all-star, but this dude's offensive versatility went through the roof this past season for two reasons. He became a playmaker and he now has a respectable three-point shot. And he made a pretty decent 35% from there. He averaged 21 points a game, seven rebounds a game, and 5.8 assists a game. Now in terms of players who are 6'10 or taller, Although Blake Griffin is listed at 6'10", I would go more 6'9". Anyways, there are only two other players in NBA history who have matched these stats in a season. These players are Wilt Chamberlain and Kevin Garnett. Blake Griffin is now the third. He joins pretty impressive company. There were some good games for sure as well. I would say his best game was a... 32 point, 12 assists, 11 rebound, triple double versus Minnesota in January. Blake Griffin had three triple doubles this past season. Pretty impressive. And this is a smart move, but he's definitely changed his style of play. I feel that he's expanded his shooting range and relied more on that and his basketball instincts rather than his athleticism like he did when he was 22, 23 years old. There are some growing pains when doing this, but Blake Griffin is a player who is turning 30 next year. I think this was a necessary change for his long-term game, and I think that you might see the dividends of this a lot within the next year or two. So why did Blake Griffin only finish number 34 on this list then I will give a couple of reasons for that. In terms of statistics, the biggest dip that happened was his field goal percentage. Although he did expand his shooting range, his field goal percentage did take a little bit of a dip going from 49% to 43%. He missed 24 games this past year and averaged a career high in turnovers. So Detroit is pretty much risking their future on Blake Griffin. This is definitely a big risk, but I think at least in the short term for the next year or two, although fans might not have seen this this past season, I do think that this could definitely pay a lot of dividends over the next couple of seasons. As I mentioned, Blake Griffin expanded his offensive versatility this past season. And I think that the dividends of that are going to be seen a lot more this upcoming season as long as he stays healthy. He's on a max for three more seasons with a player option for 21-22, which would be $38 million. He would be absolutely insane to turn that down. And Detroit, they got a new coach. Him and Andre Drummond are ranked back to back. They are both top 35 players in the NBA. I'd like to see another player step up and get into that top 100 range because Detroit didn't have a single player on this top 120 other than these two players and that speaks volumes to, well, why they didn't make the playoffs. But if there's another player like Luke Kennard, Stanley Johnson, who could step up into that third option role, please stand up because Detroit really needs you. But if Luke Kennard or Stanley Johnson could turn into a top 100-ish type player to go along with these two stud muffins, I think Detroit can make serious noise next year. Congrats to Blake Griffin for cracking our top 120 at number 34. My name is Flynn Patrick. We will be back with the number 33 player shortly.